take a look at crude oil. All right, what we want to do, guys and gals, um, the size of the boxes are very important on the trend boxes. Let's take a look at yesterday's trading, and we'll go into today's. All right, so we know if we have a red trend box, the bias is down. We have a green trend box, the bias is up. All right, so what the trend boxes do is they look at uh, larger time frames and project it on smaller time frames. So we get overall big large trend con, uh, the large trend projected on a smaller time frame. Well, what's neat about the trend boxes is the width of the boxes, the width between, I mean, the width of the uh, how many candles are inside the box. If you have less than four candles inside of a trend box, you have speed in the market on any time frame. So less than four candles equals speed all right and we need speed in the markets to create great opportunities for retracements because what happens is the uh, market gets extended it retraces back and then it continues in the direction of the retracement so less than four candles equals speed so this is our largest time frame I'll go to the small time frame I'll make this video very long this is a nine Simrenko that's our largest this is our trend chart Obviously, we use the moving averages. Moving averages are used for trend direction, not crossovers, not support and resistance, but just trend direction. And we all know that we have a small, intermediate, and large moving average. If all three are below each other, like it was yesterday, your hard trend down, just sell retracements on your smaller time frames. But what I want to show you is the width of the box yesterday. And this is after crude oil inventories came out. We talked about the market getting active. And breaking out of that wedge area, it tried to break out the high, then it went right back to the low, broke down. The key is the width, though. Notice there's only two bars, candles, I'm sorry, inside the trend boxes on the way down. Two, two, two. Not straddling. Here's one. Here's two. This indicates speed. This trend box started to hold speed direction, okay? So what we want to do is if you see speed like that, you know to look for retracement. So this is a large time frame. So what we can do then is we can actually look at smaller time frames based upon the direction of the trend to let us know when the market is getting into a possible retracement. So on this larger time frame, we'll go into today's trading. Here is your speed box, one, two, three, less than four. There's three bars, less than four. Your first retracement that comes down is going to be your most, your highest probability setup. So that retracement level told us on a larger time frame that that's an ideal setup to start looking for longs in the market when it gets below 10%. That coincided. Now, shorter time frames are the same way, and gold's rolling to the upside. we got a speed bar to the upside on gold right now. And so our smaller time frame, how do you get in trades like this then? Well, here we just had a trade on gold just a second ago at 8.06. Because what we had, let me show you the first of all, so you have to go over to gold, Gerald. We have a we have a market that's getting marked up right now. Right here, you can see we had a big trend box, big trend box right there. And then we had a speed box that came in also. But you notice the trend is now up on the larger time frames. So what we want to do is we want to look and try to get in smaller time frames. The same thing applies on smaller time frames. This is a 3 Simrenko. We just had a trade on gold just a second ago. Here's a 3 Simrenko with 9 sim trend up. 9 sim trend is up, 3 sim Renko. So here's my speed bar if you noticed. I like seeing this situation. I like seeing this scenario, I'm sorry, where you have a big large trend box that closes. That's a consolidation before a breakout. And then you have trend boxes. Here's back to back trend boxes. One bar, two bar inside of this trend box. One candle, sorry, two candles inside this trend box. What we want to do is look for the first retracement then because now we got speed the speed boxes came in right after a big consolidation uh, box for continuation. And so what do you want to do? Your highest probability trade is looking for the first retracement and below 10%. And then you get a move up in the market. Let me get that. I just hit it somehow. So then you get a big move up in the market. So you can see what we want to do after you get below 10%. We want to wait for a higher open than close, or a um, positive market delta would be good. There's your entry on gold that just happened a second ago. 
uh, the live fill, the high of that bar, the live fill is probably around 1481.20. And there we just got a $230 potential trade to the upside with two ticks below the swing low. So that is a speed bar retracement that just happened on gold a second ago with overall trend direction. We're trying to position ourselves into the market with overall trend direction on retracements with bars that are less than um, that are less than four bars. Now yesterday, like I was saying on crude oil, we had yesterday we we're coming into news. We were coming into news on crude oil, and the market was flat as a pancake. Here it was, big range. And before the speed bar printed, I was telling all members in the room, look for a speed bar breakout. And it can break to the upside. It can break to the downside. What happened is there was your speed bar breakout on the larger time frame. That got things rolling. So how does that produce on a smaller time frame? When it breaks down like that, here's how you, the production started on the big move down to the downside. This speed bar started everything because what happened, I said we're in between symmetry dots. Once we break through symmetry, I like seeing the speed bar that breaks through symmetry. There was two bars, one, two, and those retracements, that M top started this whole big move down. You had several opportunities to take retracements, but notice the speed bars on the way down that really cranked crude yesterday. And that's what you want to see. You want to see a consolidation or big giant boxes inside of symmetry. Here's your big box inside of symmetry. We started to get speed right there, first speed box. There's a retracement. And then the back finally broke, broke the symmetry, and then she just started getting cranked down. So the width of the boxes are very, very important, extremely important for you traders.